so much for joining me. This is going to be a 2022 forecast. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Before I get started, if you want your own 2022 uh, forecast or horoscope um, check out my website I do have that available usually it's like $140 now it's like $40 for the new year so definitely take advantage of that I also do have the January 2022 forecast up so you guys can know what the month of January has in store for you as well um, and like I said all that will be in the description but let's go ahead and get into it, Aquarius. So the energy of the year. When I was meditating on your energy, I was definitely getting this message of things come to you with ease. That's what I heard. Things will come to you with a sense of ease. Now, when I say that, this is making sure that you're not trying to force any outcomes. This is making sure that you're not trying to speed up the process in your manifestations. Understand that your manifestations are working. It's just you need to more so reside in the energy of patience and also persistence uh, this year. Because um, as a whole, the only way that you guys are going to see your manifestations kind of become a reality or tangible is through a level of patience that's why i say it's going to come to you in the sense of ease where you guys don't have to push but more so be allowing of it to happen instead of being like well spirit i want new love this month and if it's not coming this month then i don't want to date for the next five years you don't throw the you don't throw temper tantrums with the universe okay you just let the universe do its work because they always come through it just might not be the way you want them to and how you want them to but it always comes full circle and there's always a lesson that can be taken from um, the experience as a whole but moving beyond that um another thing i'm kind of getting here um this is a year all about um getting a balanced schedule balanced eating um, this is you guys overall striving for balance, balance in your relationship. Okay, there could be some imbalances that existed in 2021, where some of you like your eating habits, sometimes they may have been good, sometimes they may have been more so bad, um, when you need to find like a, a fair balance there. Some of you, your schedule just all over the place where you don't even have personal time to think. All right, so um Balance as a whole is what I'm feeling for this year. Now, another thing I'm kind of picking up, um, if you are in any legal situations, any legal trouble or just legal stuff that you have to take care of, custody uh, battles, divorce, um, suing somebody, you getting sued, uh, somebody is imprisoned, whatever it may be in terms of legal stuff, um, you will be wrapping that up this year. Um, make sure you have a good lawyer. That's what I heard. Make sure you have a good lawyer and make sure that they're covering their tracks. Okay, because um, something with the legal counsel may be a little bit off for some of you. Obviously, if I mentioned it. But make sure you have a good lawyer. Make sure you have all your documentation in order. And beyond just legal stuff, moving off of that because I don't really do readings on legal stuff. I just had to mention that. Um, another thing I'm kind of sensing with documents you guys need to make sure documents are in order okay are in order contracts uh, like i said court documents um shoot make sure you got your birth like social security like make sure you have your information wrapped tight all right not saying anything will happen i just i, I felt like i needed to say that so i don't want to freak anybody out with that um if you have a business some of you may have to hire other people to help you or you may be considering whether or not you should start hiring a team um it may start to get that hectic with the business all right now um another thing i'm kind of sensing for 2022 there may be a level of mixed signals coming from like love related connections um so you could be in a relationship in 2022 and your person like in one instance they may seem like okay they're ready for this but then in another instance they seem like they're not so ready it's like their energy is very conflicting and confusing and um 
For others of you, it could be vice versa, where your energy is kind of conflicted and confused about what you truly want. I see that some of you guys, um, you just may not be sure where you want to take a relationship. It may be getting serious and you may have never really expected it to get as serious as it is. And now it's like, it's time for the serious questions. Are we going to move in together? Are we going to have kids? Are we going to do this? Are we going to do that? Um... When it comes to creative endeavors, this year, it seems like you guys are still trying to find your way. Um, it feels like some of you guys, what I'm hearing is make sure you're not losing yourself. Okay, so if this is you doing YouTube, um, whatever creative thing it is that you do, make sure you're not losing yourself in like trying to please others. All right. Make sure you're not losing yourself trying to please others or even like just going with the um, status quo. The way that you're going to really excel this year is by standing out and being authentic to you. Um, but nonetheless, I feel like this year is really about you guys stepping into a new cycle where you guys are prosperous. You guys are glowing the f up okay but it's a matter of how you guys go about it and how you guys take charge of the year as a whole are you coming into this year feeling sorry for all the problems you had in 2021 or are you coming in 2022 looking at it as a clean slate and an opportunity for you to start a new cycle in your life and learn from the mistakes that you made in 2021 and all the years prior to that okay so um, I also see moving. I see some of you moving across country, moving to a different state. Um, I do see travel as well. You guys may be really tapping into traveling, um, stuff like that. So I want to flip the camera and pull some cards and see what comes up. Aquarius, let's go ahead and get into your 2022 forecast. What's the energy around my Aquarius for 2022? So let's do a eight card spread. All right, and let's move this back and get started. So the overall theme here is the first card. We have the King of Wands, which is the provider of authority and charm. So the overall theme, this year is all about you guys tapping into your creative energy. This is all about you guys also taking charge and really trying to find, find a way to maintain through you being creative. So how do I say this? Some of you may be deciding to do something career-wise that may be unorthodox. This could be you wanting to get into social media work or... Um, displaying your talents in some way or some of you have a very specific passion that you guys really are going to be spending a lot of your time and effort into like pursuing and trying to master as well like I just get this energy of you trying to step into mastery or like finding ways to put your presence out there more when it comes to your passions your creative endeavors all that stuff also another theme here um, when it comes to your anger, the way that it is, the way that it's expressed, your energy, what you focus on, that's another thing that's coming up. A lot of you may be deciding coming into 2022, a lot of things you were giving energy to, you're done giving energy to it. Especially if you're realizing by you giving energy to it, it's just creating more conflict or problems. Right now, when it comes to your career, work and finances for 2022, I have the Knight of Cups, which is the messenger of romance and invitations. So career wise, you may have opportunities coming at you left and right. It's just you have to discern between what's something that's tangible, something that could actually produce something of substance and what's not. 
Okay, what's a real opportunity? What's something that's more so like an illusion and something that you want to be an opportunity, but may not be anything that, you know, puts you in a position to make more money or anything like that. Um, you could be looking at other streams of income, other ways to make money. The only thing I would say that could be a problem is inconsistency and also not taking yourself serious enough. That's the worst thing that you can do is like halfway, half-ass handle things um, when it comes to like a business or like I said, stream uh, another stream of income. Um, also moodiness, like your personal mood may affect your career, um, like what you produce, especially if you work in like customer service or you make money off of commission or getting tips. Like some days you may feel like, okay, I'm ready to go to work. I'm ready to get things done um, and get to the money. And then other days you may not be here for it at all. And this could be affecting your finances or you showing up um, consistently. Now, when it comes to love, I do have the hangman. So for 2022, for my singles, it looks like more so you could be putting love on the back burner on purpose. A lot of you will be putting love on the back burner so that you can more so figure out the answers to certain questions that you have about self and trying to understand what's next for you may consist of you kind of just going on a personal journey this year. For others of you who are in a relationship or like interested in getting into a relationship in 2022, um, there could be like this thing, this problem that could be keeping your relationship from manifesting to higher heights. It could be you, you being scared of fully committing yourself to this connection or your love interest, or there's things that are like a question that aren't being answered. You guys may be on two different pages, like you may be somebody who's like trying to get married and then your person's scared or vice versa. But um, clarifying the hangman, I have the nine of pentacles. So I just get this energy of a lot of you just wanting to be focusing on you. And even if you're in a relationship, it just seems more so like you're trying to focus on your personal identity outside of the relationship or your love interest is doing that. Especially if you found yourself more so getting sucked in into just being like a conjoint or let me rephrase that, like getting sucked into uh, mainly focusing on your relationship and not focusing on you. It's, you guys know what I mean. When you get into like a new relationship or you're in a relationship period, you kind of lose yourself in that relationship and who you are at its true essence is not really who you are at your true essence because you're picking up habits, energy from someone else. Some of you could have a partner who's acting more single than anything. Now, when it comes to spiritual growth, I do have the judgment card. So um, this is epiphanies. A lot of you are going to be going through a spiritual awakening like no other. This is another spiritual awakening that a lot of you are going to be going through. Or for some of you, this is actually your first one. This also feels like epiphanies are happening around what your gifts are. Epiphanies are happening in regards to like why you don't have a good relationship with certain family members or you're starting to understand why certain things manifested the way that they did. And a lot of you are going to become a, a even bigger believer in your spirit guides, God, the universe, whatever you believe in because of the way that you kind of like perceive things or you start to get an understanding of, okay, this happened so this could happen. And that's going to bring in even more blessings with you kind of being in a space of acceptance. The more that you accept an outcome, the better. Because the more you try to force an outcome to be different than what spirit is trying to like bring into your life, the more it's going to feel like you're forcing it. So anything that you feel like you have to force, uh, it's not for you. Or at least not right now. Now, the advice for you with the Wheel of Fortune, 
Um, this is understanding that you guys have good luck on your side coming into this year. It's a matter of you just needing to stop thinking from this perspective of being less fortunate or life happening to you, not for you. Okay, I think that 2022 is going to be a more balanced year for you and a year for you to get on your feet financially, emotionally and mentally. If you look at it that way, your perception is everything. Because your perception goes hand in hand with your actions. So the advice here is to um, also have a more balanced perspective on things. Making sure that you're not thinking just with your heart space, but also thinking from a logical standpoint as well. And also when it comes to decisions that you want to make this year, being a, a good judge of what makes the most sense. Okay, Weighing your options is key. Now, what will empower you this year? I do have the Knight of Wands, which is the messenger of acting first and thinking later. Um, so what will empower you is consistency. Um, I do see this energy where some of you may have moments where you're like on fire and you're focused and you want to get things done. And then other moments, you're inconsistent. You're not showing up for yourself. So what will empower you is being consistent with yourself. Being consistent, especially when it comes to your passions and when it comes to your actions, because being inconsistent only drags out the results even longer. It's kind of like starting a YouTube channel, right? And then posting one video every two years. You're never going to get anywhere. You're going to feel like it's taking way longer than it needs to because you're drawing it out. And that's the same thing here. What will also empower you is to stay away from people who are wishy-washy or flaky the type to be around for right now and then be gone the next minute you know so on a romantic level make sure you're staying away from people who can show up when it's time to do the do you know sleep with you and all that other stuff and then disappear right after that is not the person for you Now, what you need to be focusing on with the Magician card, um, this is your manifestations. The things that you want to bring forward in 2022, you need to be focusing on that. And you need to be focusing on your energy and the things that will help you bring this manifestation into reality a lot faster. So this is taking in consideration of your mental health, taking care of your emotional health. All right, taking care of your physical responsibilities and putting action behind your words using all the elements to kind of help you manifest faster all right using what you got to get to where you want to go is what you need to focus on now this last card is going to represent the most important lesson of this year and with the ace of cups the overflowing emotions place um the lesson that's going to be the most crucial is around your emotional well-being. You guys may have some things that kind of test you and bring you to tears a little bit. Um, and then you're going to have moments where you have opportunities that come up and you get emotionally overwhelmed because it may be opportunities you never thought you would ever receive. Or you may have people show you love during this year that kind of replace people who may have removed love from you previously so it's like a lot of new connections and who's genuine and who's not being able to discern that is going to be a lesson you guys are going to learn when it comes to love there's going to be lessons around that and deciphering who deserves your love and who doesn't who deserves the more emotional part of you and who doesn't um, and also opportunities there's going to be lessons around that what's a tangible opportunity and what's more so an emotional opportunity, something that you would like to be a thing, but may not be necessarily possible. So it's a couple of lessons that are kind of coming through. But I hope that I put things in perspective for you. If you took something from this video, definitely feel free to thumbs it up. And I wish you the best of luck in 2022.